Good morning, third grade math friends. Happy Monday to you. Today we are going to skip forward to lesson 81. Yes, lesson 81. So please make sure that you are working on the correct lesson today. We are going to learn how to multiply two digit numbers. And this is only part one. And you'll see what specifically we're going to do when we multiply with a two digit number. And I'm gonna be starting on page 440. All right, so just a reminder that we are on page 440. And lesson 81, we are going to focus on multiplying a double digit number with two. And you guys know that when we multiply any other factor with two, we are simply just doubling um, our other factors. So for example, if we were to multiply six times two, we're simply doubling the six. And you guys know that with multiplication, it's just repeated addition. So for example, Six times two is really just six plus six. And when we solve for either one of these problems, we will find that the product of six times two is 12. And the sum of six plus six is also 12. So we just have two groups of six. So here's one group of six, two groups of six, and it gives us our answer. All right, third grade math friends. So I'm now on page 441, and our first multiplication problem with a double digit is found at the bottom. It's asking us to multiply $24 by two using pencil and paper, okay? So this is how you will solve your homework, your homework problems tonight. It should look exactly like this. I do not just want to see your product, I want to see your work. So by watching this, you will see how I want you to set up your uh, multiplication problems, okay? So 24 is our double digit factor and two is what we're multiplying that by. And how we set up this problem is we need to first write 24. You want the larger number on top in this case. So we have $24 and then we need to line up our um, digit that's in the ones place, okay? So two is a one digit number, so the two represents the ones column. 24, the four is in the ones place. So we have four ones in this case and two tens. So 10, 20 gives us 24, okay? All right, so now that we have our ones lined up, you're going to first multiply these two numbers together. So now we have two times four. And you guys know that two times four equals eight because it's simply just this number doubled, okay? If we were adding four plus four, I have two groups of four right here. That gives us eight. And now that we've multiplied these numbers, we need to multiply these numbers. So we're left with two times two. Again, two groups of two gives us four. And don't forget your label is a dollar sign. So if I had two groups of $24 and I wanted to give one set of $24 to a friend, I would have $48 total 24 for me and 24 for them. All right, the next problem that we are going to solve on page 441 
is we are, we are being asked to multiply $48 by two. And just like how we set it up before, we're going to put our dollar sign first. We're gonna do our double digit number, which is 48, which is also the larger number. And then we're going to line up our ones. So two still being in the ones has to line up with that eight. So four is in the tens column, which gives us 40. And eight is in the ones column, which gives us 8, 48. Don't forget we're multiplying. And what we're going to do first is we are going to multiply the digits that are in the ones column. So we have 8 times 2. And that gives us 16. And because 16 is a double digit number, is a two digit number, that 1 in 16 is in the tens place. So I'm just gonna put a tiny one, emphasis on the tiny one, guys, right there. And I'm gonna put the six here like always. Now don't forget that we're still multiplying. So when I multiply these two numbers together, I'll show you how it's going to be different, okay? So we have two times four, which still gives us eight but we can't forget this one up here. And once we have two times four, which gives us eight, we simply want to add this one to the number that, to the product we've already solved for. So two times four equals eight plus one equals nine. So add your dollar sign, 48 times two, equals $96. Don't forget that label. I almost did. All right, now we're going to start working on our example problems in the textbook. I am now on page 442, so please make sure that you're following along with me in your textbook. Example number one says a ticket to the amusement park costs $34. How much would two tickets cost? So since we are doubling the cost, since we're buying two, how the addition would look like would be, well, here's one ticket. Here's two tickets. If I added them up, which would be repeated addition, I would find the sum and the total cost of those tickets. But since we are becoming pros at multiplication, we are going to focus on multiplying that same number by two, because we know that that is doing the same exact thing. And we'll solve for this addition problem once we find the product. I almost put an addition sign here. Woo. All right, we are multiplying. So. First thing that we're going to do, teacher magic unfreeze. We are now moving on to example number two, which is still on page 442. Example number two says one yard is 36 inches. How many inches is in two yards? All right, so we're changing our label. We are no longer dealing with money we're dealing with yards. So we will, um, actually no, we're dealing with inches. It's asking us how many inches is in two yards. So what we need to write down first is how many inches are in one yard. And there are 36 inches in one yard. And since we need to find how many inches are in two yards, we are again multiplying by two. We're gonna line up and set up my problem like so, making sure that my ones, my, the, making sure that the digits that are in the ones column are lined up and making sure that my um, digit that's in the tens place is all by itself right there, okay? So first thing that we're going to do is multiply these two factors together. So two times six equals 12. 
And since 12 is a two digit number, I'm going to put down the two, carry the one, make sure it's a tiny one. It should not be larger than this number. Tiny one right up here and don't forget it, okay? Next thing that we're going to do is multiply these two factors together. Two times three equals six. Don't forget about this. We need to add that to it. So two times three equals six. Six plus one equals seven. I'm gonna reread that question to you. How many inches is two yards? I have 72 inches is the correct label. All right, friends, I hope that this lesson helped you out. Um, your homework assignment will include part of the lesson practice, and I want to make sure that you are solving your um, homework tonight using this setup. You may check your work using repeated addition, but your um, answer sheet, so for example, here's your answer box. Right, And if it's number one, I want you to set it up just like this. And I want you to solve for it in that box. Like so, okay? So this is how it should look like. All right, if you guys have any questions, please let me know. I hope that you guys have a great rest of your day. Continue to work hard and make me proud. And if you have any extra time today, feel free to work on some of those multiplication games. I saw a lot of them last week, so you are more than welcome to continue that this week. Bye, third grade math.